Adrian and Andrew, thank you. Well, with each passing day, we are getting a better idea of each district's back to school plan, but students still don't know what their daily lives will look like. News Channel 9's Nicole Somavilla has a look at the mental health impacts of the unknown. Kids feed off of adults incredibly. Just as we're adapting, so are they. And as they head back to school, many don't know what that will even look like. Is my friend going to be in my class? Well, that's so far from my you know, thought process right now, you know, but that's the thing they're most worried about. Child psychologist Jen Rapke tells me there are a lot of unknown factors that can make kids uneasy. Sure, many are excited to get back to school, but others may be scared. We've been telling them for months, you know, stay away from people, be safe, don't touch anybody, don't be in a closed room, and now we're asking them potentially to do that. So what are the long-term socialization and then developmental impacts of a child if they're at a young age and they're not able to be getting this learning experience in a classroom? Sure. I think it's going to vary. Um, you know, we always think about kids on a continuum, so it's going to vary based on their age. You know, um, younger kids maybe won't be quite as impactful, at least right away, and they still have a lot of time to develop those things. It's the teenagers adapting to a whole new social pattern or lack thereof who are impacted the most. It has a lot of potential effects. We're not totally sure yet what that's going to look like. But no matter how old your child is, Dr. Rapke says the best thing you can do is talk to them, know their concerns, work together to find solutions, and give them control wherever you can. Being very honest about, I don't know what this means, I don't know what this is going to look like, but we're in this together. Adapting, learning, and growing as a family. Nicole Somavilla, News Channel 9. If you see dramatic changes in your child, such as changes in appetite, mood, or sleep schedule over the next couple of days, Dr. Rapke says that may be a sign of anxiety or even depression. She also says your mental health is just as important as your child's, and you shouldn't be afraid to ask for help, too.